day. So can you tell us about this, what this opportunity will be? Well, basically what's happened is um, from the national championships for the NTC programs in December, there was an All-Stars team of 23 players picked. Uh, Luke was fortunate enough to be one of them 23 players and they actually ended up playing the, uh, the winners of the, the tournament. From that then, um, AFC opened up with Nike for the All Asia uh, Nike camp. Um, Australia were given seven um, vacancies, as were the other 10 countries. And from there, FFA then looked at the 23 players, looked at their potential, looked at the opportunities for selection, and uh, submitted the, the seven names, of which Luki was one of the seven. He was fortunate enough to go and gain that experience. Seems like a really um, significant opportunity. It's not easy to get. I think, again, they've got to look at, um, FFA would have been looking at the player as an individual, his individual traits and techniques, but also his player um, understanding within the role, of his position. Um, did, he, did he show that regularly? Did he show understanding of not only his position, but the, the vision and philosophy of the team? Did his, uh, his performance over that week uh, show that to a level that they could go, yes, he can move on to the next level? One of the other countries that are also participating. There's ten countries in all. Off the top of my head, I don't know the rest of it. It's certainly Japan, um, China, uh, Thailand. Both the Korean sides will be there. So there'll be some very technical um, young players there. Again, it's, it's an opportunity for the best 70 players within Asia to be put together in front of the top coaches from uh, Barcelona, um, Man United. There'll be other Asian coaches there having a look at these kids. Uh, any opportunity for um, being seen in that environment is an opportunity to be identified and selected for bigger and better things. Well, again, it, it just shows again that the pathway is there for these boys. You know, Lukey's um, relocated. He was one of our northern boys at Riverside Olympic. Uh, relocated to come into the program full time three years ago. Um, family had gave up a lot of commitment to, to make that move happen. He stayed in the program, he's been developed, and as, as each year has gone on, he's worked hard. He's now got the uh, bonus of their thing being there at the next level. And it's a good good opportunity for the younger boys, they've seen it, they, and then they should hopefully now get a taste for it for the future. And you see that as being a big benefit for the team that well, again, you know, my, my role is to give the boys the best opportunity possible to play at the highest level. Um, you know, we're a small state, and if we can get one, two players a year into the eight league youth or the, these opportunities, then we're, we're benefiting football in Tasmania. But at the end of the day, a lot of these boys from last year, for example, um, didn't quite make it to the next level. Um, we've released them back to the clubs, but they're going back to the clubs as better talented players and the clubs are reaping the benefits and hopefully football in Tasmania is, is gaining from it. Given the success of the Victory League and this program, do you feel Tasmanian uh, soccer has been taken a lot more seriously? Oh, to be honest, we're batting above our weight. You know, and, um, over the years, from since I've been here in 08, we went away for the first championships and we were getting smashed and everybody saw Tasmania as the easy beats. But now, you know, teams are wary of the talent that's coming out of Tasmania and also now we're starting to get people to the next level. Scouts and talented teams are actually starting to look at what we've got down here and we're actually batting above the weight I think. Okay, so how are you feeling? Oh, I'm excited to be getting this opportunity out of it. I feel a bit nervous. What exactly is, is this opportunity? Can you talk us through what you're going to go through the next couple of weeks? Oh, well, it's really just a great opportunity to better my skills and play with the best players in the Asia Pacific region. And there's also a lot of great coaches up there, so hopefully I can get noticed by one of them and picked up from it. How hard did you have to work for the Oh uh, Well, you've got to train hard all through the year, leading up to the NCAA Challenge, and then you've got to perform well there, and then that has um, given me this opportunity. Did you get any feedback on anything you've got to caught their Well, my 1v1 skills are very good up there, like taking on players, defending 1v1 players. Would you be surprised to, to get picked as one of uh, just seven players? Oh, well, it was a bit of a surprise, but I was also confident that I could get this opportunity. You know, I played my best up there. Have you been like before? Um, no, I've never been out of Australia. And you've already made a couple of sacrifices so far to, to be down to Hobart to get into this opportunity, so this is sort of this is something you're really keen on focusing on for two years. Oh, uh, yeah, I made sacrifices to come down here from one session, so I'm reaping the benefits. Who are you most excited about working with over there and why? 
Oh, well, I'm really excited to get to know all the best players around Australia. Top seven players for the age group, so. Any coaches in particular? Uh, well, they're all great clubs that you'll be watching. It's like Manchester United, Barcelona, Inter. So any of them, to be impressed by them, will be pretty good.